Hamlin Gold has identified a new gold target at its West Tanami project in Western Australia. To tell us all about it, the company's managing director, Peter Buick, joins me now. Hi, Peter. Great to see you. Hi, Carolyn. Good to see you again. What has Hamlin Gold's soil sampling work uncovered? Well, this is really exciting for us. So we went to the Tanami uh, really with a, a view in mind that this was a vastly underexplored part of Western Australia in a real tier one gold province. So we try to look at what had been done in the past uh, and really work on both our, what we call our prediction and our detection technology. So how well can we actually identify the X on the map, if you want to call it? And then how easily can we work out whether those Xs on the map uh, have gold associated with them or not? So this is one of our detection technologies. So this is the ability for us to explore under the thin sand cover, which extends over much of the Tanami and be able to test our targets by using a fairly inexpensive uh, sampling methodology, which is the soil sampling using then the ultra fine technology developed by CSIRO to try and magnify or, or enhance gold anomalism in these areas of sand cover. And this is the first time we've done two years worth of trials and orientation surveys. And this is the first time we've managed to get out do a regional survey. So it covered about four kilometers of a really important and new gold structure up at Sultan. And it came up with a cracking result, came up with a really discrete, high amplitude and very coherent gold anomaly, almost textbook, almost the sort of thing uh, that you'd want to see in your uh, geochemical uh, atlas of, of what an anom anomaly should look like over a, a key structural target. So we're very excited and very keen to drill. So considering this type of terrain was generally avoided by previous explorers, would you say you've been able to unlock a new area using this technology? Absolutely. It's it's what we call op opening up a new exploration search space. It's an area where previous explorers either avoided because it was just sand covered, so they couldn't see the geology, they couldn't get a, a response at surface using traditional geochemistry. And so they sent, tended to go to areas that were either more residual or even outcropping areas. Uh, and that's where they focus a lot of their work. So this is a contact that we've now mapped over, over 10 kilometers of strike. And we've completed the very, very first drilling. So we only drilled one line of drilling across this entire 10 kilometer corridor in an area where there was a little bit of uh, residual. So the, the geochem anomaly was there. And we drilled one line and got a great result. We hit seven metres at over three grams gold. So that told us that the, that the corridor was alive. And then this next phase is really then to get a systematic sampling across the entire 10 kilometres to work out which bits of it are more mineralised than others. And that's what the, uh, the focus has been here. So we believe it really has opened up a new exploration search space. And and we've got, you know, we've got almost over, well, over 2,000 square kilometres of ground where we believe the application of this new technology can be applicable over many of those areas. So we're, we're very, very keen to then prove this, obviously, by drilling, make sure we are on the right track, and then the application can be very far reaching. So how soon do you expect to start this next round of drilling? Well, we've got all the approvals and permits in place now, so we're ready to go. Uh, we're in contact with a couple of contractors who have rigs in the region, and we're very, very hopeful to get drilling in late October or, or early November. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're working our very hardest to make sure we get it done this field season and have the results uh, ready to, to focus and, and get more drilling on this project if it's successful early next year. Peter, the work we've been discussing is just part of a larger work program. Do you have any updates of what else is going on at the West Tanami project? Yeah, well, this is a very, very busy time of the year. So uh, we've got a, a number of drill programs which we've just completed. So we've got almost 10 to 12,000 metres or 10 to 12 kilometres of drilling in the laboratory at the moment. Uh, we are far, you know, quickly processing that work, um, testing a number of targets across the project. And so, yeah, it's a very, very busy time. Uh, this is a, a very key part of our uh, overall strategy to keep the pipeline full of new opportunities and new projects. And those results will be uh, from our drilling and our further geochem programs will be coming back over the next few months. So. It's a busy time up there and, and we're all um, head down and uh, working very hard to make sure we get those programs done uh, safely and efficiently. And, uh, and so far, it's been a very successful year. Peter Buick, Managing Director of Hamlin Gold. Great to chat with you today. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Carolyn. Cheers.